I'm Michael Fisher, craft beer enthusiast and industry professional. I'm on a journey to find some people whose professions or hobbies revolve around the fermentation of malt and hops. We're going to dive into their passions and share some conversations over their favorite brews. So join me as I bring the brew to you. Welcome back to the next round of Brew to You. I'm here today at Wolf's Ridge Brewing in Columbus, Ohio. And our guest today is Cam, craft beer enthusiast, otherwise known as the lady behind Brunettes and Brews on Instagram. Welcome aboard, Cam. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So uh, let's start at the beginning. What got you into craft beer? I used to be a wine drinker and then a vodka tonic drinker, and then I started trying this craft beer and seeing what this was all about. And I was like, you know, this tastes really good. There's gotta be more to the process of making craft beer than just the average beer. Yeah, I find that uh, in kind of my journey to craft beer was uh, fueled by a lot of uh, domestic light beer. And then, you know, just kept exposing myself to bigger and bolder beers. And I woke up one day, I was like, man, I could go for a beer with more flavor. Or, or more hops. And so it, it is kind of interesting how uh, the craft beer bug bites you. There are the so many yeah. different styles, the process, the brewer, and there's always something new and coming. And if you're bored, you just haven't had enough. Have another one. <laughs> Have another one and get back to me. So tell us about the beer, the first beer you brought today. This is Flea Juice. This is a New England style IPA, all the craze right now. It is from Masthead Brewing out in Cleveland, Ohio. They opened early 2017. Well, let's let's get to the important part. Carry on, by, by all means. You know, we have the haze. See the color? Yeah, the haze is an interesting thing. I think it is a topic of great debate from the newer tuned in, I don't want to say hipster, but hipster craft crowd versus the old school, been in it forever craft crowd. Traditionally, uh, a beer that is finished or done properly is nice and clear. That's not what we it. want here. Right, right, absolutely. I gotta try this. That's really, really good. 7.3 ABV, uh, real nice, big, juicy. Do you know about the name? Have you heard of Fleeb? Tell me about it. Well, this is what I know about it. There's a show called Rick and Morty and they have the show on extracting the juice from the Fleeb. Okay. And it's on the can, but a lot of people wouldn't even, they would just, oh, I'm just getting Fleeb and not know, you know, every, every name has a meaning behind it. And it's funny with so many breweries every day are popping up and then you have uh, breweries that are really focusing on the New England styles. And typically speaking, a true New England style beer needs to be consumed extremely fresh. Yes. They don't have much shelf stability. Exactly. So, which when they're extremely fresh is fantastic, but when they're not fresh, they're not as, as awesome but they're also once a month coming out with a new beer with a new name. And then it's, and it's like trying to find a name that isn't already trademarked to somebody else. So they're coming up with some really weird oddball names. But this is so apropos, yeah. extracting the juice. Yeah, this is really solid. So tell us about the next beer that you brought. This is from Wolf's Ridge Brewing in Columbus. It's Terra du Savoie, part of a four color series that Chris Davidson has put out. And I believe that the, the translation of Terre du Savant is Wild Earth. Uh, from what I've read about the beers, it's kind of an homage to farmhouse ales. It recently won at FOB in Chicago. Yeah, the FOBAB, the Festival of Barrel-Aged Beers, which is kind of a mouthful to say after you've had a few barrel-aged beers, I'm sure. So this is a Saison aged in oak barrels with uh, some Br Britannomyces and Lactobacillus. Uh, so this is, oh man. So I met Chris in Columbus at another brewery's party and I asked him, hey, do you work at Wolf's Bridge? He goes, yeah, I'm the head brewer there. I'm like, will you take me to your brewery? Everyone's usually proud of what they do uh, and can't wait to show you 
bring you in and and share it with you, which is uh, I think one of one of the best parts about being in the in the business. When you get that one on one experience with the brewer, and you're able to talk to them alone and share their beer with them. It's one of the most intimate experiences you can have in your life if you're a craft beer enthusiast. That's really good. So uh, kind of the opposite of our last beer, this one is, is just crystal clear, I mean, by design. It's a very sexy beer. We clearly weren't just doing them a favor by plugging one of their beers. This, this, is, this actually is a, a really, really solid beer. So obviously no trip to Columbus is complete without visiting the uh, Columbus Brewing Company's beers. And uh, so tell me about the one that you brought. Okay, we have a Dippa here. This is Columbus Brewing's Bodie. When I first moved to Ohio and obviously got into craft beer, everyone's like, have you had Bodie yet? Have you had Bodie yet? And I'm like, what is this Bodie? And that was one of the, uh, the whales of its day for sure. Obviously still an outstanding beer and uh, finally packaged. My Instagram took off after I posted in a bikini that matched this bottle. So it became coined the Bodhi bikini. I've coined myself the Bodhi girl. As far as this beer is trading, I do give this out to different states. Um, one of the fun things I've had with this beer with some of my beer people from Instagram, I'll trade it out, we'll all have it, and then we'll all drink it together on Instagram. And that is like the coolest thing to be able to share Ohio craft beer with nice. beer friends in other states and we can sit and have a Bodie together. Do you do like a, a Bodie bikini anniversary? You should do an anniversary I know, I think every you year. Know, every year. So moving on our journey from Columbus to Akron, Ohio. We have a stout from Arche. We have his Palomar. It's his caramel espresso stout. He's a lover of caramel macchiatos and this is his beer version. Nice, 7%. So lactose, so kind of a milk stout. It's definitely a good coffee beer. Yeah, we could drink that one for breakfast for sure. Yes, we could. And it's 7%, no, no better way to start your day. <laughs> so on every round of Brew to You, uh, we kind of try to come up with a, a unique beer question. And so for you, I asked you, what's your pool beer? What's the beer you like to enjoy while you're lounging around by a pool? We had to go right back to where I live in Worcester, Ohio and get some JAFB. I have uh, actually uh, been to and am familiar with this uh, particular beer. This is Rain Delay, correct? This is Rain Delay. It's one of my favorite IPAs from that brewery. Um, so go ahead and tell us, what's JAFB mean? Well, Paul was sitting down, Paul Fryman was sitting down with his friends. He didn't know what to call his brewery. And somebody just yelled out, it's just another brewery and they stuck with it, and that's how we have the name. That's fantastic. So then I suppose it leads the question when you're lounging by the pool after you've finished a Bodhi in your Bodhi bikini, do you just put on just another fucking bikini before you drink this beer? I do. It has a <laughs> special presence with me. Yeah, it's got, it's got a great aroma. It's a really, really bright beer. It's great after workout. Before workout. You can only get it if you go to Worcester or if someone gets it for you like me. Let's give it a cheers. It's darn drinkable. You're not chewing on a hop cone 10 minutes after you're done with it. We're getting tons of hop flavor, enough malt balance. I, I really like what those guys are doing out there. I wish it was uh, a bit more available. Well, you'll just have to come see me, won't you? Yeah, you have to come out. <laughs> well, hey, this has been another great round of bringing the brew to you. I want to give a special thanks to Cam Make sure you check her out on Instagram at Brunettes and Brews. Also want to give a special thanks to Chris Davidson of Wolf's Ridge Brewing for hosting us here and letting us hang out in his great facility and get to try one of his fantastic beers. I'm Michael Fisher, and I'm bringing the brew to you. We'll catch you on the next round.